So I'm going to roll now, George. Mm -hmm. All right, one of the most common, common, common judo throws, it's actually a combination, right? It's a judo series, two attacks together with a wrestling finish. Very good. It's three move situation. Uchimata Kouchi into a leg there. Very, very good. Very, very good. Most commonly, you see this in the right versus left setting. I mean, right versus left. Right versus left. Okay? So I'm in this position, look, I pull my opponent's head down and I thread this underhook here. I have this underhook, I want to make sure my head is right next to his temple. Okay? If he beats his head to my temple, right here, right here, right? There's a separation between my delt and my head, and now it's going to be very difficult to go through. Okay, so I want to fight for head position, underhook and head position, and I want to grab this wrist. Can I launch my opponent with Uchimata here? Yes, I can. Not so easy, right? Not so easy because a lot of these grips are not as secure when you're doing judo. When you're doing judo, you're locked in. Right? You have strong hands, grab the gi, it's not going to rip. You're locking them in, and then you launch them. This is like a little bit more slippery. Lots of other things potentially happen. So I pull my opponent's head down. I thread this underhook. Fighting for head position, I have the wrist. I'm going to go one, two. I elevate for the Uchimata, okay? I elevate this leg for the Uchimata. And once we're in this two-legged monster situation, look, I bring this leg and I connect it to the outside of his leg here, the inside of his leg. So now I have a Uchimata Kochi situation, not so powerful, okay? If I just drive him, he could put this foot down and step over this leg, okay? Which tends to happen a lot, but I'm going to anticipate that and catch the ankle, okay? Grab the wrist, I go Uchimana up, Kauchi, catch the ankle, and now I have the finish, okay? This is a very, very common technique. You see this all the time in wrestling. You see this all the time. Back in the day in judo, people used to do this, right? Very, very helpful. Underhook wrist, Uchimata, Kauchi, leg kick, okay? Let's get it from another angle. Pull the head down, underhook. Fighting for head position, wrist, Uchimata, Kochi, leg. Nice and simple, easy attacks, boom, boom, boom. Right? Pretty low risk, too. Because from here, if I have the wrist and the underhook, right, you're going to go for the overhook from here. You're going to try to maybe the hand going off overhook. Right there. Okay, this is very common, right? Uchimata, can't finish it. Me, pretty low risk, right, with the underhook. Kochi, can't get it, even if I miss this leg, oh, that's okay, because I still have this underhook, right? Maybe I duck under, maybe I go here, behind, right? Lots of other options for me, right? Keeping that tight underhook is gonna, it's good defensively too for me, right? Not so much that he can do. Of course, he can go for a fireman's carry, right? Lots of other things potentially happen, but if I have the underhook in the wrist, right? That's generally a very good position to be in, right? We're gonna wanna fight for head position, you're gonna have to grind the head in there, right? And of course, this in judo, if you have the sleeve, right, not going anywhere, but with the wrist, right, you could bite this wrist out, right, easy, right, might slip. So once you grab it, you have to immediately sort of go for it, right? Uchimata, catch, coach. Okay, you have to go for it right away. Right? Nice little trick. Yeah. And sometimes, though, sometimes, okay? What is? The underhook and the clamp is so hard, right? Clamp down hard here, right? Ah, I can't even take this leg off, right? I can't even lift it because there's too much downward pressure here, right? In this case, I might just switch to side, okay? And now, okay, fine. Each of my other leg pick situation, right? Neat little combination to be able to do, right versus left, okay? Like a wrestling no gi situation, judo no gi versus wrestling. A hybrid. This is good for all grappling. That's that's the beauty of it. You can do this in sambo, jiu-jitsu, judo, wrestling. That's what you want to do. Awesome.